Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Adas this. In today's video, I'm going to be putting up a Pokemon Center exclusive Obsidian Flames Elite Trainer Box versus a retail Obsidian Flames Elite Trainer Box. This is the third expansion of the Scarlet and Violet era. So, without Puppy. further ado, ado, let's get it. All right, guys. So, here we have it. Here's the two Elite Trainer Boxes. The left one is the retail one, and the right one is the Pokemon Center one. Nowadays, the Elite Trainer Boxes aren't that much different from the Pokemon Center ones compared to the retail ones, whereas before, I think in the Sword and Shield era, they actually changed it up quite drastically, but now it's just like simple. Um, so the retail one is the logos on top, Pokemon Center one's the bottom left, and it's just Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box at the bottom there, and then just in big text at the bottom there, it says Elite Trainer Box in a little box. And then for some reason, the flames at the back of Charmander here is non existent in the Pokemon Center one. And then this one's more zoomed in compared to the retail one. And that's about it to be honest. And then we put a full color background for the Pokemon logo up here and then like transparent there. Just a little line going through. And then the tops again, you got the border on the retail one. And then no border on the Pokemon Center one. I think that's the main difference is on the outside anyway. So I'm gonna crack these open and show you the inside. So here's the damage counters and dice and then the condition markers. These are exactly the same between the two. Here's the tech dividers and the sleeves, exactly the same as well between the two. Front and there's the back. And then one of the differences between the two is in the regular one, you only get one single promo without the Pokemon Center stamp. That's this one. And then in the Pokemon Center one, you get a Pokemon Center stamped one at the bottom right down there. You can see it. That's one of the differences. And the second difference is in the regular one, the retail one, you get nine packs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you get 11 in the Pokemon Center one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And here are your two cold cards for the two Elite Trainer boxes. The top one is the Elite, the Pokemon Center one, and the bottom one is the regular one. Alright guys, so before we start ripping into the packs, if you enjoy my videos and you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. When we reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent Elite Trainer box as of the time that I hit the 500 subscribers. But without further ado, we do, let's get into it. Alright guys, so left side is um, the Pokemon Center one and the right side is retail. I guess let's start with the Pokemon Center one. Yeah. So I've already done the opening for the two Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes in my last video, which I just recorded. Oh my days, guys. Oh my days. If you haven't watched this one, or if you haven't watched that one first, I suggest you go back and watch that one just to see my reaction. I'm going to spoil it now. I'm going to spoil it. I've already pulled. Oh, Umbreon, Umbreon. 500 quid, 500 quid, or 500 pounds, 500 dollars. Any Umbreon lovers out there? Poppy, Mawel, Tom Pig, Play Doh. Yeah, I pulled the number one card from the set already in that video. So technically, technically I can be done with Obsidian Flames because I've already pulled the most expensive card. I should just go singles and buy everything else cheap instead of... I mean, I've got a lot to open anyway, to be honest. I kind of went all out on Obsidian Flames. So might as well. Summary, Eater. But if I only... Let's just say for the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes first and then buy anything else. And I only open those. I could technically be done with it. But of course I want to open more to get obviously the commons and uncommons, the reverses and stuff like that. But in terms of the big the big boy card, which is that Charizard, I've already pulled it. I think the rest of the cards aren't expensive. Maybe the gold one, if I don't pull that one, but the S I oh Charizard is going over over like a hundred quid or a hundred dollars at least and gold one I don't think is that much so Ramble Thunderous Yeah so after these elite trainer boxes Um I've still got some booster bundles versus I'm gonna do a booster bundles versus um sleeve packs There's that one and then boost some booster boxes got some booster boxes um obviously the Single check lane blisters versus the triple pack blisters. Masquerade, Pelican. High five! So far, what? Three packs in and nothing to show for it. Oh, is this gonna be a dud? 
box that I get. I mean, I can't complain. That first video, guys. Oh my days. That first video. That one box. One box was just insane. That one box from that video was just insane. Either I'm gonna get dudded. Or there's something. No, there's not. Oh, okay, there is. I did see some giant at the bottom. What feels in me? Dud. Absol EX. I love this card. The purple background. My lighting might not do it justice, but oh, there we go. That angle right there. This card is so nice. That purple background, the absol itself. That's a beauty of a card. So far, so good, guys, in terms of my Pokemon Center lock. My Pokemon Center only trainable lock. Pull the full lot in every single one. I believe in every single Pokemon Center. Elite training box that I've opened for every set. I pulled at least a full up. At least a full up. Which is good. You know, going away with a full up in a elite trainer box is not that bad to be honest. If you can Oh my day is nice. This gloom is one of the best like ARs out there. This gloom um IR should I say illustration rear. IR AR same thing in a sense. Togekiss. Probably gonna speak to you soon, but so far so good. No doubles, no doubles in terms of what I've pulled. So I can live with that. Nice. I'm gonna jinx myself now. I'm probably pull a double, but no double so far. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Hopefully, again, if I'm right, this video will kind of confirm it. Let's draw stuff right. Yeah, if I'm right, I should be getting two more EXs now. If not, I might get lucky and get another full up. I should get an EX at least or a Terraform one which will probably be a double let's see Diagonal, Double B, Bonsley, Dolly, Skarmory, Rock Trio, The Manitan, Bunnel B, Go Villain, Go Villain again alright so three packs left from this Pokemon Center trainer box with only two hits in my first one I got four in the second one I got six or was it five it might have been five I think it was five shot up there Corneod this one might be the worst one of uh, the three that I'm opening. Oh, maybe not. Now we get a full up Ice Cube EX. Centering is bad ish. It's more heavy on the left, I think. Yeah, it's heavier on the left. Okay, nice. So two packs left. <clears throat> oh, my voice is going. And I've pulled two full arts and an AR. Nice. I'll take that. I will take that for sure. The Ice Cube full art as well. I think the best one is obviously going to be Charizard. And then Tyranitar. That Tyranitar one is nice. That full art Tyranitar. Terraform. EX. From Goose. Kangaskhan. Yeah. Oh, my ears. Okay, so it's looking up to kind of what I expected. Alright, so last pack is either gonna be nothing or it should be an EX, maybe an AR. I don't think I'm gonna get anything higher than an EX or an AR. Could be a Terraform, could be. Charmander, Bratini, Oddish, Finizen, Camera, Godzilla, Bramble, Alamite, Nope. Yo! Oh my days. Actually pulled it. Actually, I was talking about it just a second ago, saying how this card is absolutely beautiful. This Tyranitar full art, and I pulled it. Wow! So three full arts in this Pokemon Center Elite Train. Oh my days! Oh my days! Wow! wow. Yes. All right, guys. So that's one Elite Trainer box down. If you're currently enjoying the video and you stuck with me this far, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. When we reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent Elite Trainer Box. As of the time that I hit 500 subscribers, without further ado, do, let's get into the rest of the video. Alright guys, so boy, 5 hits again from my last Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. Now moving on to the retail one. I don't think the retail one 
is gonna be it. I don't think so. I doubt it. The only way it can is if I pull obviously the big boy, the number one big boy. And I don't think that's happening. Stunfisk, EV, Magneton, Sigil EX. There's our first double. I've already pulled this one in my last video. So far, oh my days. All three Pokemon Sun and Lutrina box that I've opened. I love it. I love it. Not a single double out of all of them. And I also pulled Big Boy from one of them. Yes, I'm happy. My Obsidian Flames luck might just be out of this blown out of the park then again it's a small set so easy kind of yeah so this etb is just gonna pull doubles i'm just gonna pull doubles from this etb yeah i have a feeling this etb is just gonna make me pull doubles maybe because um my pokemon center ones obviously came from one single case and maybe they don't put doubles that would they try not to maybe i don't know as that one jumps off maybe they don't put doubles in the case or something like that oh yes there you go nice okay not bad so three pulls so far this picture here yeah. nice here we go another full out wow so many full out so far nice i think i've pulled at least half of the full out by now Could I possibly master set this set in the amount of packs that I'm going to open? I think all together, for all of the products that I'm going to open. Probably going to be opening about two, just about 200 plus packs. And I actually get 90% or at least most of the master set just by opening 200 packs. I hope so, that would be nice. Eater. Yeah, so every set that comes out now, unless it's a holiday one. Holiday ones that tend to be more expensive. Every main set, I'm probably going to be opening just about 200 packs around that full park. 200 ish packs, between 200 and 250 packs. Obsidian Frames obviously going to be the easy one, easiest one with that many packs. But the rest will be harder because they're going to probably have way more cards. But if Pokemon go down this route where they're going to try to do one to ones with um, the Japanese side, that would be good. It'll be make it will be so much easier to master set when they do sets with like 300 plus cards and add three sets from the japanese side makes it so much harder so much harder although pull rates are so much better now but still with that many secret res and stuff it's still going to be just as hard and you're going to be pulling more doubles in a sense although because this one's easy you are going to pull a lot of doubles but that's just because they're easy to pull as well but then the higher rarity cards or the chase cards are easier to pull as well in a sense i guess my screen appeared going on a dry run now score villain three packs left three pulls one full out one ar one ex in the sword and shield era that would be one v one trainer gallery and a full out i guess because that's technically what they are the exes are v's now um illustration rares or trainer galleries and then full arts and then the SARs are I guess secret rares or the alternate arts probably had both thunderous that's the fast center as fuck thunderous thunderous all right last pack is last pack are we gonna get any last pack magic three hits from nine packs hmm not bad not bad a full art included as well yeah not bad silver up shoes point dynamo thumb shoes guitar over Tick, toggle tick again. Yep, dot pack, dot pack, and then up the center. All right, guys. So that was Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box versus re Retail Elite Trainer Box, and obviously the Pokemon Center one with five hits, three being full arts, art rare, EX, and then this was the Retail one, which is EX, Illustration rare, and full art. I mean, not bad. The Retail one came out with a full art, Illustration rare, and then yes i'll take that boy the glitch in a box but my pokemon center one that that is good pause but yeah guys that was the obsidian flames pokemon center exclusive elite trainer box versus the retail elite trainer box if you enjoyed the video if you stuck with me to the end i'd appreciate if you could leave a like subscribe 
for notifications for more when we reach 500 subscribers i'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent elite trainer box as of me hitting 500 subscribers but thank you for watching the video and i'll see you on the next one peace